that. The stand, and then you even get that little butcher's board Bamboo thing. cutting board. Dang. Isn't that fantastic? Dang. I love you it. you came to play, Mark Came Gill. to play, and this <laughs> is, uh, I guess we're going to dedicate this whole show to Alicia, are we? I think so. Well, she wants that fresh bread. <laughs> well, here, Alicia, here's what you need to do then. If you get this knife home, I need you to run, don't walk, to that bread section, because yeah. cutting bread right out of the gate is one of the coolest things this knife does. If you got it just for that, I mean, you're ahead of the game. Bread like this that normally you have to break, or if you try and put a knife through it, it destroys that crust, goes right through. And then, of course, yeah. fresh bread, which is what Alicia is all about, oh, so, just like this. So, Mark, just to play devil's advocate, sure. so if I do a hala, like a soft bread, mm -hmm. if I do a sourdough, like makes a harder no bread, difference it at makes all. no difference whatsoever. Absolutely not. And in okay. fact, you want to talk about control. This is what we're talking about. So, Alicia, I want you to watch this real close. This isn't your ordinary electric knife. This is Cuisinart. Oh, this wow. is all the control and all the power you could ever hope for. And here's something that's even better. When we designed oh, this, no kidding. we designed these blades with you in mind. So perfect cuts, easy, and look, the, the crumbs even know better not to jump uh, off. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, by the way, this is for this show. It's on FlexPay of $24.99. Maria loves this together. I love Mark. You Fantastic. guys know that. Colin, I've missed you. I'm sorry I've been on Facebook for a couple days. I've been cooking. Uh, actually, Julie it's Truster off. and I were talking about you and giving you props. Uh, <laughs> honestly, Maria has Mark's knives. They're great. Love and the, it. And the thing is, Mark, you do have great knives, but I do. I've got some dexterity issues. I'm, I'm never going to be a Mark Gill, but <laughs> doggone it, I like to carve me well, some this meat. this requires no knife skills at all. If you can None. push that button. In fact, let me take you on a little tour of this knife so you really understand it. The power button's on the back, but if you'll notice, if I push it, nothing happens. So that's, that's on a purpose. safety switch, Exactly. Right? You okay. need to make sure that that slides to unlock and then there's all the power you need. Now those blades, once they start running, if you notice the, uh, the actual blade on them, moves fast enough that oh, those wow. two blades turn into one. And that's why they're able to crack those crusts and do those amazing jobs. Now, when you're done with this, yeah. the blade is dishwasher safe. There's right. a release on either end where you can pop them out, pull them apart, and clean them. And then when you're done, they slide right into place. And now's a good time to remind you that with Easter coming up, oh. Dad didn't want to carve that holiday turkey no. because he wanted to carve holiday turkey. Well, it's he wanted to do it because it was a power tool to play with. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I mean, this is this is carving season. If you, I mean, if you could say such a thing. I mean, whether exactly. it's your holiday ham. You know, the one thing for me Mark, and you know, two quick questions, uh, mm -hmm. and I hope I don't put you on the spot. No. Because uh, you do sell great sharpeners. Can I still yes. sharpen these blades? These do not require any sharpening at all. Oh, wow. So no yeah, that's, sharpening. That's, that's one of the wow. beauties of, a, of an electric knife. So I'm going to go ahead smoke. and I'm just going to kind of set this here. Because I do want to show you something with the skin on oh. this turkey. <laughs> Huh? Save the bread. <laughs> hey, when pigs fly, it will rain bread here at <laughs> now, HSN. Watch this. Normally, a turkey skin is going to crack, Shannon. Sure. Right? It just falls <gasps> right through it. Look at that! So when we're talking about beautiful cuts and a tool that a foodie is going to love, wait till you see some of the demonstrations that are coming up next. But the fact that you get the carving fork, the cutting board, the whole the stand, shebang. the whole thing with this out of this end. <laughs> more five-star reviews yeah. on an electric knife People than I've it. ever seen. I, I've never seen it one quite like it. By the way, it is for this show. Real quickly, yeah, Ginny, I'd love to make uh, French uh, toast out of the hala. <laughs> but no, hala, we love the knife. <laughs> We're all hala for, you know, for Mark. Hey, uh, in the house. But anyway, <laughs> it's not tearing at the meat. It's not tearing at the skin. So we spend a lot of money for our ingredients. Mm -hmm. And produce especially is expensive. Right. Whether it's a fresh pineapple or butternut squash or what have you, you don't want to destroy, destroy the integrity of the skin or the juice inside. Exactly. So even, you were doing kind of the unexpected for me. Mm -hmm. I expected meat. I did not right. expect to see a pineapple. Everybody expects bread. Everybody sure. expects meat. That's because the average electric knife is going to run at about 70 to 90 RPM. They're 70 to 90 watts. Guys, let me show you a couple of differences with what Cuisinart's done. This is a normal blade on an electric knife. Kind of stubby, kind of short, kind of whatever, kind of flimsy. And that's why you only see bread and some meats with this. Well, this is what I want you to see. And here's the difference. Our blade is shaped more like a chef's knife. And this is a 130 watt motor. What does that mean to yeah. you? That means that some of these cuts, oh, some of these incredible things that you see on wow. food channels and food networks, you're gonna be able to do at home because that power is nonstop. So when you wanna create the most oh. memorable brunch bowls, Go ahead and do that with your pineapple. Isn't Holy that cool? Holy cow. And now, cow. here's a tip from me to you. Oh, on the watch this. This is a really good tip. I love this. Yeah, <laughs> This is the best this. way in the world to cut cherry tomatoes, but sometimes you end up having to, uh, you, you know, use a uh, knife and saw back and forth, and of course your hands get in the way when you do that. So yeah. one plate on top of the other, no sawing, no back and forth. And uh, by the way, when I'm done with this, wait till you see what happens with that avocado and that cheese. So guys, watch this. Oh, Mark, that's a good tip. Here is your best 
easiest and funnest way to cut a whole bunch of cherry tomatoes in half. There's my tip from uh, me to you this evening. And you want to talk about... And they uh, stay sharp. There's no, no sharpening. No sharpening required. Hey, by the way, Rick, can I double check? Do we really only have a thousand of these? Wow. Oh, I'm sorry. There are fewer than a thousand. I'll bet. So shoot, I should have I should have brought my tablet out here. I'd, I'd be ordering this right now. Oh, you are not going right through an avocado. Avocados are the <gasps> it food now, and now you don't have to do that thing where you whack it with a knife and then go around the world and you know wait, maybe wait, get wait, your wait, hand wait, out. Wait, wait. So even through the pit? <laughs> even through the pit. But here's what's more impressive. Wow. It's one thing to do that I through am the pit. I'm impressed by that. It's another entirely different thing to take the softest mozzarella and create cuts like this. If you've ever tried to cut this cheese before, you know that th there's all kinds of ridges and ripples and evidence that a knife has gone through it. Well, have a look at this, Shannon. There's no evidence there at all. Those are the prettiest cuts in the world. And if you follow me here just to my left, we are really gonna put this to the test, all right? This is the kind of meal that ends up costing three times what the knife costs. This is rent now, <laughs> these things. So here's, here's the fun part with uh, you know, having a knife like this at home is again, you can do all of these great cuts. You can do some of these butcher cuts. So we're gonna go ahead and get the ribs out of there. That's grandpa's cut right there. I know. He loves that hey, one. Uh, by the way, Alicia mm -hmm. loved the bread, but she said her starter husband, she's laughing, see, in quote, she knows that I, when I joke, which I love, uh -huh. he's a chef and he uh, loves, cute, uh, loves Cuisinart where he works and he's a, oh, he's a professional chef. Beautiful. Dude, so, oh, that's fun. So don't look at this as just, oh, I'll do the holiday ham. I'll, you know, do the prime rib. I'm telling you, day in and day out, whether it's your pork tenderloin, mm -hmm. whether it's your sandwiches, whether it is your bread for, you know, sectioning out your French toast, if it's carving that chicken, if it's cutting the tomatoes, if it's going through a solid avocado pit, I'm telling you, brilliant. Now, what Mark's gonna do next is something that really impresses me because, to be honest, Raw meat is a lot harder to cut properly than cooked meat. Exactly. It really is, at least for me. And all I'm really doing is just kind of holding this in place. And that's it, just letting it roll around. And what's fun about this, you want to talk about even going from, a, you know, soup to nuts to meats to desserts. Now you go ahead and you fill this with asparagus and cream cheese, wrap it up, put a little bit of bacon in there, and you are really good to go. But hey, Shannon... And by the way, Mark, can we show... Uh oh what are we doing here? Okay, Director Mark, not Mark. Okay, look at here's my team, here's my homie, here's my peep, here's Victoria. Oh, we got a little sandwich Renee there. like ran. <laughs> he, <laughs> Renee doesn't do TV. You know, <laughs> he's like, oh no. <laughs> he doesn't do TV. Uh -oh. I know. We, so. We've got an upside down sandwich. Boom, there we go. <laughs> and here's what's cool about this. Through the bread, through the lettuce, through the meat, through the veggies, it makes no difference at all. This cut, watch this, Shannon, is gonna be restaurant quality. These are the kind of, uh, of cuts that people who Precise make cookbooks cuts. look for. Yeah. And we're gonna go from here to a dessert that's gonna blow wow. your mind. Can I just point out, and I don't know if we can, um, you know, look, you know, if we can peel back her garters or not, but what Mark has in that sandwich was literally <laughs> meat-tastic. Now, I don't know about you, but again, I got arthritis. I have a hard time slicing through thin deli meat. Yes. This is like, it's, it's like a chunk of meat. The weight of the knife? in right. almost every instance will take care of the cut for you. It will. No pressure, that's what the 130 watts is gonna do for you. And this kind of odd little demonstration that we do sometimes is really gonna show you that okay. ice cream's hard as a rock. If you've ever yeah, tried to no, cut through right. ice cream, it's not gonna happen. You're right. So if you've never thought of using an electric knife to make an ice cream dessert, watch this. Take the bottom part off of a pint of your favorite ice cream, and then all you're gonna do, guys, that's 130 watts. <gasps> it doesn't care if it's frozen. Holy you're gonna cut right cow. through that. Oh, Good it gets better. Goodness. Watch this, Shannon. So Gracious. I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna make a little cut right there. Okay. And then when you want to have the most fun in the oh. summertime with homemade everything, grab that little guy and go, wee! There you go. And you've got oh. the perfect homemade ice cream sandwich that is just big enough for Ooh. two. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, Isn't this is th this is crazy. I mean, and the fact this is when I tell you rock hard, mm. rock hard. Mm -mm. I mean, honestly, you know very well, you know, Mr. Jerry, Mr. Ben, they got nothing on this knife. <laughs> and here's the problem, though, Rick. I don't know if they saw a quantity left or not, and that's not to be alarmist because you're always welcome to shop seven days a week, 24 hours a day here at HSN. But because I shop with you when I'm at home, I do like to know when something is really limited. Uh, and at this point, we have a couple hundred remaining. 
Wow. It, you know, it's time to upgrade. And, you know, it's the knife that all other knives wish they were when they grew up. <laughs> I want to be you when I grow up, Mark Gill. I love it. You talked about thin slices. Yeah. Well, if you didn't Whoa. think that you could make wafer-thin slices with an electric knife, then it's been a while since you've had your hands on a Cuisinart electric knife. I can basically see my fingers through that slice, you guys. Oh, that is crazy That's good. what we're talking about when we talk about the control that you get with an, with an electric knife that's made by a company like Cuisinart. Uh, I'm impressed, and you're impressed everybody on Facebook Love as it. always, Hi, Mark. everybody on Facebook. Nate. <laughs> I like Facebook. That was for you. I know. Uh, you have a face. You should be there. I should be uh, there. You are. Mark, thank you. Thank you. Good to see you as always. Hey, don't hang up on the knife. Remember, we have just a couple hundred of 